Uh, a little nose candy, uh, a little nose gay, dear. What does this mean? Uh, what is uh... Godfrey Canyon! Who's dead? Your perfidious brain is dead. Dad, did you tell Mr. Malloy in the newspapers that Mrs. Nesserol died of alcoholic poisoning and went to a drunkard's grave? I did not tell the newspapers that uh, Mrs. Nesselrode died and went to a drunkard's grave. Did you take your secretary to the wrestling matches this afternoon? Dear, I pledge you my word I did not take my secretary to the wrestling matches. I took no one to the wrestling matches. But I guess you did see the wrestling matches this afternoon, Dad. Uh, no. A funny thing about it, I didn't even see the wrestling matches this afternoon. Is that the truth? Sweetheart, I take a note on your poor mother's grave. I never saw the wrestling matches this afternoon. Things happen. I believe you, Dad. Oh, don't say anything more. I know everything. Now, don't cry, dear. You're exaggerating don't things in your to mind. Me. My poor brain can't stand it. That black eye and your condition prove you were drunk and lying in the gutter. I was not drunk. <laughs> There, I knew it. What are you talking about? I saw you at the wrestling matches. You were drunk lying in the gutter. And you had your secretary with you, and she was drunk, too. Listen, Claude, I've had a lot of trouble in the last 24 hours, and I've just about heard enough from you. I admit that I was wrong in asking for the afternoon off to go to the wrestling matches and giving it as an excuse, Mrs. Nestle Road dying. But that is all. You were drunk, and you were lying in the gutter, and you did take your secretary. You keep quiet and let my father tell his story in his own way. Don't you yell at me or I'll slap you in the mouth. <laughs> oh, you fiend! You fiend! Yeah! I'm looking for a row of lib labs. Leave this house and never cross the threshold again. And take that ungrateful minx of a daughter with you. Dad! Come on! I'll exterminate the three of them. Come on. We'll go for a little ride. Rest in peace. Come on. Oh. Wait a minute, dear. Well... Okay. All right. Did you ring, sir? Yes. There's a Mr. Mockenbuck who is arriving from Hungary tomorrow morning. I see by the files that his rating is A1, and he's an important customer, but I can't find anything personal to talk to him about. Where is Wolfinger? I discharged him. You, what for? He lied to you, and he took the afternoon off, possibly to go to that wrestling match. He's been talking about the wrestlers and bragging about his prowess as a wrestler for years. Good gracious, you can't discharge the poor devil for taking one afternoon off in 25 years. Now get him back, and get him back as quickly as possible. Huh. You've left us in a fine mess. I want to get the data on Mr. Muckenbach at once. Where does Mr. Wolfinger keep his files? They're in here, sir. But I'm afraid they'll appear disordered to you. I've tried to install a filing system, but Mr. Wolfinger prefers his own method. Ah, uh, so this is the famous filing system, eh? Ah! Where can we find Wolfinger? I don't know. His wife has thrown him out of the house. She informed me that he attended the wrestling matches yesterday. But this girl, his secretary, accompanied him that they were both drunk and that Wolfinger was found lying in the gutter. This is a gross exaggeration and a fabrication. True, I did attend the wrestling matches. Only because my mother is a very dear friend of Hukalaka Mishabab. But when Hukalaka... Threw Taka from the ring, he struck poor Mr. Wolfinger in the chest, knocking him insensible. What did you expect me to do? Stand there like a dummy and watch my poor boss die in the gutter? You think I'm, I'm going to take your word in the purpose of this? Stop it! You've overstepped your authority. Come into my office. You get on that phone and locate Wolfinger. And stick to it if it takes all day. Yes, sir. I don't understand how you could have used such bad judgment. Uh, 
Mr. Malloy has spoken to me, and uh, inasmuch as Mr. Wolfinger's been with the firm for more than two decades, uh, uh, he thinks that if Mr. Wolfinger will uh, return to work and forget wrestling, uh, Mr. Malloy will accept uh, my suggestion that he uh, return to his old position.